Ladies and gentlemen, this is a massive Arsenal news update video for you guys because not only have we gotten the answer or some clues to who the mystery German signing might be, we also have gotten personal terms agreed for potentially our first signing of the summer in Califuri. We are going to debunk the uh, the, Mikhail, uh, the all the stuff about Saliba to buy, uh, to Real Madrid. And we also have a confirmation that Kimmich will not be joining Arsenal. Now, before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into everything. And oh, might I add, Mikel Arteta, talk your shit. Because my man, Mikel Arteta, has put some people in their place. But before we go any further, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get this show started. And I'm going to ask you guys one more time. Who do you think the mystery German signing is? Before I try to give you my guys my answer. Let's get the show started. Yes, yes, people, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. Let's go. Let's get this show started. So first, we're going to start with Califuri. As Arsenal have had the Italian have his... There's a lot going on with the Italian. So first of all, Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Arsenal have agreed personal terms with Ricardo Califuri. This is valid until 2029. And Arsenal and Bologna are discussing a 50 million pound, uh, uh, 50 million euros uh, bid. And of course, Basel will receive 50% of that. Uh, also, sale uh, the sale that they originally received, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's just look at some more about Califuri. So Arsenal are eyeing a deal for Califuri. At this moment in time, Arsenal have agreed personal terms with the player, as, as we've already discussed. We know what the reports are that Bologna want. Bologna are seeking that price. But Chelsea have also recent, uh, recently given up uh, on trying to sign Califuri as Arsenal are expected to be formalizing their approach soon and the player has expressed his desire to join Arsenal. So you got people saying that Chelsea have given up. Chelsea have officially given up. Guys, this is massive because over 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 the last year or so, we have had situations where players where players have not have not joined Arsenal because other teams have come in and said, you know, we're going to give you more money at the end. But the fact, the single fact that we have Sky Sports reporting, Sky Italy, Fabrizio Romano, everybody reporting it, I'm growing more confident. I believe Califuri will be an Arsenal player come the end of the transfer window based on the news that I'm hearing right now. There's going to be something big is going to have to happen for that to be changed. Let's see if Juventus has anything to, to say about this. But at this moment in time, it's looking really good for Arsenal. Apparently, we've agreed personal terms, and the wages are reasonable. We know how much we need to pay. All I need to know is, will it happen? Let me know in the comment section, do you guys think it will happen? And also, the fact that Chelsea are out of the picture, it just makes our life a lot easier. When I say a lot, a lot easier, in fact. But yeah, that's the first part of the video. Now, second part of the video, we got to talk about a certain, certain uh, Mikel Arteta. Now, Mikel Arteta recently had a little press conference, and he was talking his shit, and I absolutely love it. Uh, let me let me just go to it right now, because what Mikel Arteta was saying, he was cooking everybody. He was cooking everybody. Now, before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Big up to all of you guys watching. I really do appreciate everybody who watches the channel, and obviously, you guys make the channel grow. Now, as I'm looking for this uh, for this article, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Mikel Arteta had a press con uh, had a little interview where he spoke about Raya. Uh, he also spoke uh, he also spoke about the potential title last season and saying that we should have won. We should have won. Uh, he was talking about the fact that we should have won the title, and he 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 was laughing, making jokes, and he also said this right here. Mikel Arteta said, um, laughing. I told at least ninety points. I didn't even believe we would deliver that. But let's start at 140, uh, right? When asked about how much points, how much po when he was asked about how many points Arsenal would need to win the league, he was also asked about 
if Arsenal, uh, how Arsenal would have done. Uh, and he said, you know what, when you look at the analytics and you gather all the stats, everything uh, over the past 11 months in the Premier League, we should have won it. That's what the stats say. And the reality is we didn't. And Mikel Arteta is, is just keeping it 100% real. He he went in uh, in that interview. He spoke about the relationship with the players, relationship with other people. And he was uh, and he and he clapped back at some of the doubters, talking about how many players that we have doing things and how the transfer window is going to be slow because of the Euros, the Copa Americas, and other things going on. But yeah, not really going to talk about Lukonga or anything else uh, at that matter. But now let's get into the next bit of transfer news. We don't really need to talk too much about Calafuri anymore. As you guys, uh, just give me you guys your opinion on the Calafuri situation. The next thing I want to talk about is something interesting something interesting indeed the thing that i want to talk about is who is this mystery german player who is this mystery german player that arsenal might potentially be signing who is this mysterious german signing that arsenal might get could it be could it be leroy sane could it be kimmich well we found out today that it's not Kimmich. We found out today, officially, that it's not Kimmich. And let me show you guys where we found this out. Our good old good old Z was 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 on was on uh, Twitter and posted and had this to say about Kimmich. He said that you had you had Team News Ticks reported this on Charles Watts' YouTube channel. I have heard that the mystery German international is definitely not Joshua Kimmich. So we're getting drip, we're getting drips, drips. We're getting little tidbits, little, little drops of information on what this mystery German player might be. We also have more news on Calafuri, a lot of stuff about Calafuri, but we've also gotten this. This is a little bit more about the profile of players that Arsenal want. It's our information that the profile of forward Arsenal are looking for is a young forward with a high ceiling and big potential. No real surprise there. Uh, I feel like these Sky Sports guys just give us generic takes and, and, and make it seem like it's something brand new. But let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. We got to talk about this right here. The reason why we got to talk about this is because my main transfer sources messaged me out of the blue and says there is legs in Germany that the mystery German player, I've replied, who? He got back to me and said, I can't let the name get out at the moment. But since I've heard from other people the name, I don't buy it. But I don't believe it. I had hope it was Kimmich, but I was told it's definitely not him. So could it be? Could it be? Could it be Musiala since it's not Kimmich? Could it be Musiala who the player is? Could it be Musiala? Could it be Leroy Sané, ladies and gentlemen? Because Musiala would be ridiculous. 100 million plus easy if we tried to get Musiala. It, honestly, 100 million plus easy. My question to you guys is, who is this German signing? Who is this German signing that Arsenal are trying to get? Who is this German signing that Arsenal are trying to get? Because I have a feeling I might know. I have a feeling it might just be a certain, yeah. I feel like I feel like it might be Leroy Sané. I feel like it makes sense. Bayern Munich have signed. Bayern Munich have gotten the signing of what do you call it, Michael Olise. Arsenal goes and gets the signing of who? Leroy Sané. Yeah. As the Califuri deal is winding down. Arsenal could be the team that goes and tries to secure Leroy Sané. He's a fast winger, brings more dynamicness, he can play on both wings, and he brings more pace to our team. We do need all those things. Plus, he would be another forward who has experience in the Premier League and has worked with Mikel Arteta in the past. Let me know, would you take Leroy Sané at Arsenal? Because I would. I definitely would. The next person, though, the next person I'm not that interested in. Apparently, this next person is available. He won the Euros. He was touted as one of the best Italian players in the world just, just four years ago. 
But now, his club might let him leave for a measly 25 million. One of the highly touted right wingers back in the day. Uh, we're, we're, we're already signing uh, Calafiri. Might as well bring in another Italian. Federico Chiesa. Guys, his injury history is horrific. When I talk about Federico Chiesa, his injury history is horrific. My question to you guys is, is Federico Chiesa a good option for Arsenal? 25 million euros plus add-ons sounds like peanuts compared to what we pay for some of our players. Bring him in. You have a backup for Saka. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff. Or there's not there's no need of signing all these wingers. If we get Leroy Sané, do we really we don't really need Chiesa? But would you take Chiesa? That's it's just it's just because he's he's available. We're asking this question. We're not actually linked to him, but just asking. And then finally, we have to talk about Saliba. Saliba. Saliba is one of the best center backs in the world. And he's Arsenal's one of Arsenal's star pupils. If Saliba is one of the best in the world, I'm not surprised that Real Madrid would come knocking. I'm not surprised that Real Madrid would be interested in William Saliba. There's no surprise here. He's an absolute baller, and of course, Real Madrid would be interested in him. Now, is there truth to the rumor that Real Madrid are interested in him? Now, I've looked into this, and this is what I've heard from Terry from the Football Terrace. When looking into this rumor from the mirror, the rumor actually states that Real Madrid are looking at him. We all know that this won't happen. Real Madrid will wait until he's got one year left on his contract and agree to sign him as a free agent the following summer. That is probably what they're going to try to do. But right now, William Saliba, if Real Madrid put $150 million on the table for Arsenal, I think we'd reject it. William Saliba is not going nowhere. The mirror source in this article is that Real Madrid would be interested in Saliba as they are currently looking at other centre-backs and they rate Saliba the highest on their list but they most likely see him as unattainable. So Real Madrid are interested, but they realize he's unattainable at this moment in time. They are not going to spend that type of money on a center back. They'd rather go and get Len Yuri at this moment in time, who would probably cost them like half the price that we would, we would ask for Saliba. I think the club would turn down $150 million for Saliba at this moment in time. But yeah, uh, if we ever sell Saliba, it's going to have to be some ridiculous club record fee. But definitely... There's no way we're selling him right now. But overall, I ask you guys, who do you think the mystery German signing is? I think it's Leroy Sané. Do you think there could be any legs to Musiala to Arsenal? Also, would you ever take Chiesa? And Calafiori seems closer and closer. Are you gaining more confidence? Or are you still kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here, people. Love for the love. Thank you for watching. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. One second, one second, one second. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out also. It's always very important. But peace.